Okay, so I wanted to get this clear and put it all out there because somebody pointed out something that was really a good point. Um, some people might have thought that I was using a comment out of context. Heck no, I'm not. Um, and, you know, I wanted to point out with Exoticals United, I don't specifically have any issue with whoever she's friends with. That's not my issue with her. My issue with her is Danielle LaVirgo's video. The fact that she did a video on Danielle LaVirgo, Lifestyle with Danielle, um, and I don't like that is because of this. Danielle LaVirgo does not do anything specifically wrong in her platform or channel against light skinned or mixed women. In fact, she's had white women and mixed women on her channel. She, you know, has any type of anti-light skinned information on her platform at all. Any kind of issue with them, in my opinion. She did a video on colorism, and she did a video for brown-skinned girls, because Danielle is brown-skinned. She's a very similar complexion to myself. And, basically, Exotic was united. I don't know what was wrong with her, or what was going on. More so to me, I feel like maybe it's a sneak peek and a the veil behind was shown because before I'd watched her channel before I saw this comment and I had no issue with her being completely honest nothing about what she said bothered me in the beginning I always thought well if you're talking about Chrissy anyway you know Chrissy is someone who with colorism I don't agree with so I mean like People who are extreme like Chrissy to me are people I don't really support. But this comment proves Chrissy right. She literally proves Chrissy right in proving that colorism exists when it doesn't. But the truth is, this lady suffers from colorism, and that's what I don't like about her, is she hates her own skin tone. She hates that she is dark-skinned compared to white and Asian and Hispanic people. This is why she went off, and this is her first comment, to Danielle Levergo on her channel basically on colorism basically is a video that she made on colorism and it's like you can see she's calling dark-skinned women darkies she's calling them low lives and on top of it she is calling brown-skinned women two-faced she literally attacked Danielle LaVirgo for being brown-skinned that's it. She knew nothing else about this lady. This lady did not say anything in her video that was against light-skinned women. She did not say anything against dark-skinned women. She did not say anything against brown-skinned women. She literally just made a video on her own personal experience, and she got attacked by this freak. And honestly, that's more of what it was. That and, on top of it, you're going to have the audacity to make a video on Danielle Virgo and try and act like she was self-hating, trying to act like she even tried to call her an exotical and pretend she didn't call her brown-skinned and attack her for being brown-skinned, but tried to act like she was um, on the lighter end, and then try to act like she was trying to cape for dark-skinned women, which her video never had anything of the sort.
basically. You know, she's had dark-skinned women on her channel, brown-skinned women, light-skinned women, mixed women, and so forth. She specifically said in her video that she was for all black women coming together, light-skinned, medium, dark, all. This lady got upset because I think she doesn't like the fact of the black identity. This woman is a black woman, but she has a hard time accepting that she's a black woman. Because she said in one of her earlier videos that she is over 50% black. She is a black woman. She isn't a mixed woman. She hates being black. And she has a lot of self-hate issues, being completely honest here. Do say that I do commend if she is not with a dark-skinned black man, that's one good step in the right direction because please do not create any black, dark-skinned children while hating yourself. I, honestly, you shouldn't even have children with that kind of mindset because no matter what you have, the kid's going to be black too. And you're going to hate part of them just like you hate part of yourself. I mean, in her case, she hates both of her parents. She hates her black father and her Puerto Rican mother because her Puerto Rican mother has black in her too. So, I mean, it's a sad situation with her. So, that's why she has a lot of hate, a lot of anger, a lot of sadness inside herself. But, the main thing that bothered me with this was... I specifically commented on her comment, on her main thread. That was her main thread right there. Anyone can look, by the way. You can check out Lifestyle with Danielle on colorism. Click on the video. You can look. If you look at the newest um, comments on the 8th month, you will find her comment. She still kept it up there because she was A-OK -okay with what she said. So it's not like it was just... Oh, she misspoke. She could easily get rid of the comment. She didn't. She did it for eight months. And you can see the timestamp on it, and it says it's been there for eight months. So, um, but the main thing I had an issue with was this. I commented under her thread post, basically, her main thread post, and I specifically, she's obviously a colorist, and self-hating and hates herself. Because she just called dark-skinned women darkies. And I expected that this would at least let her know, stay the fuck away from me. Do not come on my platform. Do not do anything on my platform. Don't, you know, comment. Don't do anything. You know. But no. She saw, obviously, the comment I put under her post. She probably got it in notifications. If she was blocked from the channel, rightfully so, after saying some crazy stuff like that, um, then she could have at least understood, don't come on my channel, because I did not want someone who obviously thought I was two-faced, because I'm brown-skinned, to come on my channel. She was being completely two-faced with me. Because she came on my channel for months before then. And it's like, okay, so you were pretending you were alright with me. But at the same time, you were calling someone exactly my color and attacking her for specifically her complexion. So of course, from my perspective, I don't want someone two-faced like Exoticals United on my channel. So that's why I blocked her. Basically, I blocked her quietly, honestly, because on her platform, I never really had anything against it because she, like I said, I think honestly tried to put more of a mask on in the beginning to pretend she wasn't really um, as hateful as she actually is. And so to me, it was like, okay, well, now I understand what her motive is, basically. And I don't really want anything to do with her, you know. So I blocked her, and, um, basically, I did, for one, I think, brief moment, I did unblock her because of something that she said, and then I blocked her again, because 
I started watching someone else's channel and she and a few others came up. I saw um, another content creator that was associated with her attacking a um, brown skinned girl and because of that, that was why I basically told her and I expected her obviously to tell the other one that, um, the other one being Exotically United, that I blocked her and I blocked everyone. So, the point was, I blocked her because she's obviously a colorist. And not just that she's a colorist, she hates herself. She freaking hates herself because she's a low life. And she's a darkie to white people, to Hispanic people, to Asian people. And considering she's said that she's around mostly non black people. It lets you know that she feel life and like a darkie, most of the time she's around other people of other races. She hates her father, who is black. She hates her mother, who is part black as well. On the topic of low lives, I wanted to also say this. I find it funny and really obnoxious, honestly, for someone like her to be trying to say dark-skinned black women are low lives and darkies, when in reality, the way I was taught, her people on her mother's side are low lives. What kind of crime rate is that island? Like, seriously. It's just a small, tiny island with so much crime. So much more crime than even black Americans commit that she probably, she's claimed, have been more criminalized. She's implied that about black people, specifically black men, in her earlier videos. Her people on that side, her mother's people, are extremely low lives, sweetie. I mean... If you look at the crime right there, it lets you know that all you guys think about is committing crime. On top of it, when you come here, do you ever make yourself out to be anything good? Your statistics are in the trash. You guys are on welfare. You guys are low achieving. You guys on top of everything. The one good thing about you is the fact that you have citizenship. And you guys look up to people who are basically largely not even from this country and are illegal in this country. So, I mean, from my perspective, the way I was taught was we look down on all of you. That's how my mother is. My mother looked down on all of you guys. A dark-skinned black woman looked down on you for being half of that. And your mother. Your mother looks low life to my mother. So, I guess that cancels out the fact that you think that dark-skinned women are low lives. But, you know, to me, I also think that it's a little weird to me, because it's like, the very people that I was taught to kind of look down on, be it people who um, have some obvious race issues themselves and are against black women and black people as well will reject her mother's people so not even is she rejected but she her her mother's family is rejected largely by large populations of hispanic people it is what it is specifically central americans and mexican americans look down on her people. So I mean, like, if we're really talking about who's low life here, well, I mean, like, you look up to people who basically my mother taught me were like the lowest creatures on the earth, and you are placing yourself beneath them. So, I mean, you can't even claim that you are, you know, an a full-blooded American. You can't even be proud of your American heritage because you don't even have it on that side. So, I mean, like, if you really are talking about who is low life, sweetie, it's you and your family.
it is what it is. On top of it, I mean, you must think you're a low life if you think that you're less than most of society, which is not black at all. And you, like I said, are a darkie compared to them. So, I mean, you see yourself as less than all of those people, and that's why you feel so badly and need to enforce that dark-skinned black women are less than you. So, that's all I have to say there. Um, I hate that type of mentality, and like, Exato's supposed to And so that's why I don't like her at the end of the day. It's not got to do with anyone she's involved with. It's not got to do with her platform. Her platform didn't bother me. It was specifically that comment and how it revealed how she actually thinks of black people, herself, and darker skin in total.